Hi everyone, this is James from One Objective Outdoors, and we're going to be going over buzz bait fishing. So stay tuned. All right, everyone, we're just going to dive right into the buzz bait setup. You've probably seen me catch right many fish off the buzz bait this year. We've had a couple people ask what my setup was and everything like that. So we're just going to dive right in to that. One of the things I've been using this year, I just went with the skirtless one. And I've been using, I think it's the Zoom Z-Crawls Junior is actually what I've been using on the back of this. And they, they hold up very, very well on the back of this. I've also been using some other different trailers. I've just been using some of my, like, um, the Guggen, the Guggen baits. Like, I'm going, if I'm going for, like, a bluegill pattern or anything like that. And I've also been using some of the Baby Destroyers also on the back of this. Um, they seem to work really, really well. Just my same old flipping baits. Um, I was trying to get too technical with it at first and just trying to find something specific for the buzz bait. Well, you really don't need, it's no sense in carrying a bunch of extra stuff. Just use what you like. And um, this has actually caught a lot of fish for me this year. Also, I've been pairing it up with the Buckeye Lures, the G Buzz. Um, that's, I'm just running the quarter ounce I really like this buzz bait because of the thick the thick wire and everything that's on it. It has been this I mean this buzz bait has caught tons of fish and it's still just as good. They seem to run a lot truer than a lot of the other buzz baits that I've used doing this type of technique. What I would say also is when you're trying to use the trailer I was using like a toad and all that stuff like the zoom toad and it was just not it just made the bait walk funny and everything like that that I just did not like so I felt like this lower slimmer profile if it is running a little crooked you can twist these a little bit and it runs a lot better with those big toads and everything like that they're thick they go on here you have to have a real pretty much a bigger thick hook thicker hook right here like the gap needs to be wider for hook sets and everything like that it just didn't run right for me and I just did not like it so that's why I went with this type of baits on here also I think um, G-Man also runs a lot of these same trailers and everything on this exact bait so that's one of the reasons I went with it as well I have that my rod and reel setup. I'm using the 8 to 1 reel. Um, this is Aber Garcia Rocket that I'm using on this one. And this is just a medium heavy action rod, a uh, 7 foot rod. And I'm able, I'm fishing around a lot of like heavy cover um, and everything like that. You know, cypress trees or cypress knees, tons of stuff that they can get hung up in. So I need to try to get them out of there pretty quick. So I've been pairing that with like 15 pound fluorocarbon so I can actually just horse them out of there. I know some people use other stuff. I just seem to like the fluorocarbon better on the buzz bait. Um, I feel like I got more control. I'm casting short cast, long cast. You know, lots of people use braid. It just seems to knot up for me if I'm not making super long cast and everything like that. So I just like fluorocarbon to each his own on that but I just want to tell y'all my setup and run you down what I've been doing what you've been seeing in the videos I hope you like what you've seen in the video please like and subscribe to our channel um, you can check out we have some tackle and everything like this on our website oneobjectivebf.com that helps support the channel um, and helps us be able to keep putting videos out well until then I hope to see you on the water next time